Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about trig limits using substitution. So these are just your basic algebraic limits just with trig functions. So all we're going to do for these is take the value that we're looking to find the limit at. So in number one, we have the limit as x is approaching pi of cosine 3x. So I'm just going to plug a pi in for x so that I have cosine of 3 pi. Now I just need to find this value. So I know that 0 is over here, pi over 2, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi. So if I'm back at pi again, I know that cosine of 3 pi is the same thing as cosine of pi, and cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. Same deal for number 2. I'm just going to plug a 1 in for x. Pi times 1 is just pi. So this is just sine of pi over 2. And the way this is written, it's that whole thing over 2. We know that sine of pi is 0, and 0 divided by 2 is 0. For number 3, I'm just plugging in a pi. We know that tan of pi is 0. For number 4, I'm plugging in a 5 pi over 3. And now this just becomes an exact value problem. So I know that my reference angle for 5 pi over 3 is going to be pi over 3. I know that 5 pi over 3 is going to be in the fourth quadrant, so cosine is positive, and the value of cosine pi over 3 is a half, so we have positive a half. Last one, in number 5, I'm going to plug a 7 in for x, so I have secant of 7 pi over 6. I'm actually going to look at cosine of pi over 6 because secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So if I'm trying to find cosine of 7 pi over 6, I know the reference angle for 7 pi over 6 is pi over 6. And if I draw my little ASTC chart, I know that 7 pi over 6 is plus 1 from the denominator. So minus 1 plus 1, I'm in the third quadrant. So that means cosine is negative. And I know that cosine of pi over 6 is rad 3 over 2. So this value, cosine of 7 pi over 6, is equal to negative rad 3 over 2. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so that means secant of 7 pi over 6 is negative 2 over rad 3. And I'm not going to leave this with a radical in the denominator, so I'm going to rationalize by multiplying by rad 3 over rad 3, and I get negative 2 rad 3 over 3. That's it for solving trig limits using substitution. Nice and straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.